Yo, this your man Sebo on I Only Touch Greatness podcast. So you know it's great. You dig? Peep the interview, man. Hope y'all like it, man. And I'll see y'all next time. Mr. Birds in the kitchen, palms itching. What's happening, bro? Salute, homie. What's cracking with it? How y'all doing over here? Man, yeah, good. So I'm this, Ryan up hey. here in Vancouver, right? The one that we met a few days ago. And, and last D shot about tired of being stepped on video with Sebo. <laughs> <laughs> And this is royalty, man. I met you with uh, Papa Willow over there in KC at the sh at the summer jam. It was like 2018, 2017, something like that. Where, where Luna Corleone was at. Free Papa Willow, man. <laughs> right, free, free Papa Willow. Willow. For Willow, man. Hey, yo, I yeah. still remember that because, yo, I remember that day, too. Like, because I was like, I say... I'm a fool kicking up old dust dead as a loo. And you had your CD, the mob follow. That's when the mob follow was out. And you get yeah. you get you uh looked at me with the CD and I was like, yo, I ain't got it. I was broke as hell. I was, <laughs> I was hella broke. I was like, damn, I ain't got it. You was like, damn. <laughs> I was I was so mad because I was like, yo, I wanted to get that too. Cause I seen it on your uh Facebook like page, and I was like, Fuck, I ain't got it, man. But it still was one of my favorite moments then yeah. in KC because that was like the last time I think I seen Papa Willow after that, man. Because I remember taking that picture of Papa Willow, Money G, and um, a lot of other people who was, you know, who was gone too. And so it was just like, yo, it's just like, I still remember that. And Looney Coleon, because that was Looney Coleon uh, performed. And I remember you were standing there and we was rocking with it, man. Man, that's what's up, brother. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate it, man. You feel me? Still around this joint, man. That, that's for sure. And I mean, I've met you twice before now. Once back at the Hip Hop Awards when we were in uh, Portland. And I think that was 2009. And then... Uh, Obviously, last weekend, I was saying to everybody how humble you are. And, like, you took the time to just... One one time, you gave me a free verse for a mixtape I was doing. Like, uh, just you're, you're humble as shit and took the time to meet up with us the other day. That's what's up, man. I mean, that's what we got to do, man. I mean, we can... A lot of these dudes need to come up under that shield they putting up, man. You know what I mean? Just be themselves. You feel what I'm saying? For real. You know, when you're a real person, you just, you know, you adapt to real things. You know, it's a it's a reflex. You know, right. If you you calm and you you respectful, why would I be different? What's up, my brother? Hey, it's nothing but love. I don't want to go to war with you. I don't want you to kill me or me to kill you. I don't want none of that. No. You know what I mean? For <laughs> yeah. real. So shit. Hey. So you know? growing growing up in the seventies and eighties, January fourteenth is your birthday. It's also my birthday. What? Ah, yeah. Welcome to the Capricorn yeah. gang. Capricorns, oh. yeah. Capricorns. Oh, so tell us about growing up in the tell us about growing up in the seventies and eighties in Sacramento. Oh man, growing up in the eighties, growing up in the seventies. Um, as a kid, you know, I experienced a lot of things. Uh, my family was into uh, the hair business when I was a kid. They had salons. My grandmother, my grandfather, they had salons, like five or six hair salons. So they was doing pretty well for themselves. You know what I mean? You know. But, uh, you know, once we left, because I was born over there, you know what I mean? I was born in my grandmother's. My mom was young. She had me when she was 15. You know what I mean? So once we left there, we we left the luxurious, you know what I mean? And went straight to the hood, you know what I mean? And that's where everything starts from right there, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I can't, I don't regret nothing. I had a good childhood. My mother was uh, wonderful. You know, my family was wonderful to me. You know, I just chose to hang out with a certain a uh, group of people that stirred me down these these roads that got me here talking to you <laughs> the uh i i read somewhere that uh your mom was also a singer and she got you got you in the game he, pretty much uh my mom was in a band you know when i was a kid she used to go to this they, they used to hang out hang out at this garage and they would have live drummers and guitar players and she would be on the mic singing and uh, you know you know doing that little thing and she was a poem writer so i had a 
took one of her poems one time and turned it into a rap. You know what I mean? So it's like my first real rap. You know what I mean? You know, so yeah, you could say she sparked my whole career, you know? So my, <laughs> my question was next one was going to be how did you, or do you remember your first song? So would you call that being your first song? I never produced it, but it was like yeah. my first rap to, I, I rewrote and, you know, used to sing around the, the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? But uh, first time I recorded anything, I would have to say it's a, uh, man, How to Survive in the Gardens. Yeah. Survive in the Gardens. I think it was my first fucking little record after uh, Jamaica Jam, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Jamaica yeah. Cut. 